What's good, YouTube? Ain't no see with another video, man. Like, what is good with y'all? Y'all see I'm pumping out of content. So, first thing first. The curry drop slide. The curry drop slide. What the fuck? <laughs> the curry slide drops the NBA 2K23. And just like for the Kyrie, we got a little breakdown on the moves. I ain't laughed at it all, so I can't really just give y'all good combos like I kind of could, could with the uh, Trey Young. But I'm gonna try to help y'all out a little bit with it. So first thing first, I'm gonna just break down the move, every part of the escape, and just kind of show y'all like what's the good, what's the bad, what's the ugly of it. So the first thing first. Just let the tray on, break down everything. So first thing first, your front crab. So I ain't gonna lie to you, Curry has a longer one. So if you know how to use it, you can get a better crab in front of somebody. I think it's advantageous to a point. I think the Curry slot is gonna be better in this game than it was in the last game. So hold R2, right stick diagonally up to the opposite hand. I give you the first crab. You get the double crab. Hold right, hold R2. Right stick diagonally up to the opposite ball hand, and then right stick diagonally up to where you started from. So you get something like that. So ball in your right hand, right stick diagonally up to the left, and then right stick diagonally up to the right. And you get a double crab like that. So nice little move. So between the legs. Hold R2, right stick straight to the side. Actually, you might gotta go like, I don't know. When I go straight to the side, I get the like crab, but like, I go like a little bit slanted, I get through between the legs. There's never really a time that you really ever need to use this move other than if you're twin spamming like this. So, like that. But otherwise, you don't really need to use that move. And then the behind the back. So this is the move that everybody is. So hold R2, right stick diagonally down to the opposite ball hand. Curry slot. One of the most famous moves in the game. Do I think it's going to be like super like crazy this year? I don't know. I don't know. Like honestly, what how the dribbling is. I don't know. I'm sure somebody can lab it and be good with it, but I don't think it's going to be better than Trey Young or John Wall. This is how the game is. I think that, like, with the adrenaline and shit, like, you're not going to be able to just, like, run, you know, back and forth and just curse a lot like you probably used to. So, I, I don't know, bro. I think... People probably said the same thing with fucking Trey Young, so kind of guys take everything with a grain of salt. So, make sure you have the misdirection. Curry doesn't have a bad misdirection for most of his moves. Um, she's not that bad. It's just like a little bit, like it's it's a little bit too loose to use competitively so to do the front mesh direction hold r2 right stick to the opposite ball diagonally up to the opposite ball and left stick diagonally up to the ball and so so to do like a regular crab something like this to do a um direction if i can actually get it get god almighty like that for me, I don't know. Sometimes I get it. Sometimes I get it like best when I'm like just stringing other moves together. And I fuck around and accidentally. Once again, some moves are not very like advantageous, but that move is not gonna like just get you out the hood. As I call it sometimes, like that move is not gonna get you open for real. 
the object of this goddamn styles of escape is to do this. That's all you want to do with this shit. But between the legs, I'm not gonna go over that. Behind the back, it doesn't have a bad misdirection behind the back. It's it's slower than John Walls. And it's not as smooth as Trey Young. So I don't think the misdirection is where it's gonna make his money from. Obviously it's probably gonna be from guess what? The Trey Young. I mean the uh, Curry slide. So I don't know. How do I feel about it? Um I feel like over the years they fuck they slowly fucked the curry slide up. I think 20, 21 the curry slide was goaded. Now it's I mean, I mean I know motherfuckers be happy as fuck to use it, but like I don't get why I mean like I don't know. It ain't bad. I just don't see it being competitive. That's that probably I'm sure somebody can figure out how to use it in the lab here. Um, last move is that move. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a beautiful snap like that. Um little on my side hop. Yeah, I wanna learn how to do that move, I'll drop it. But it's literally just the balls in your left hand. You go um Right stick to the left, left stick to the right, balls in your right hand, go right stick to the right, left stick to the left. Pretty simple. Same as, I mean, if you know how to dribble with the other six, should have it. Um, but, my favorite like, if I was to rate this one out of ten, I would give it a, I'd give it a seven. Thank God. Do I think it's like the the best? No. But um I think uh if you lab it and you might be good with it, I'm sure you, you can get busy with it. You know I mean? So but that's really all for the video. Talk about just kind of just showing y'all what the move is about. Kind of introducing myself to it too. This is my first time really seeing it too. Um, like I said, I say it's a seven out of ten. Would I recommend it to anybody? No, I would say it's Trey Young or John Wall. Uh, I, I probably would give Trey Young, John Wall, Kevin Durant, or Damian Lillard the nod over this right now. Um, just because those are way more reliable six to me. Um, but you never know, I could be wrong. But this video helps you learn something from this video. You can like, comment, subscribe. Five likes is always a goal for every vid. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.